All right, hey guys, hey, it's Andrew again, and uh, you know, <clears throat> I did the last testing chamber video uh, with this, which is extending the redstone circuit, and um, you know, I decided to do another one just because um, I really like to do this, and we haven't put out content in a while. Which again, I'm going to apologize for, but we just started school, and it's been hectic. Um, Kevin and I are senior advisors for freshmen, uh, so we have to plan a lot of lessons plans for them, and so that kind of takes priority. No offense, um, over you guys. Um, anyway, this is the old one. Uh, I got a comment on the last video, which I was actually surprised at. I didn't expect anyone to respond, which, um, asked how to make, uh, you know, a, um, how to make a, uh, dispenser shoot rapid fire. So I've got a dispenser here. I'll stick, like, 128 arrows in it. Um, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't stick the arrows in yet. Um... And so, it is kind of tricky because, I mean, it's easy to turn on a dispenser, stick a lever, boom, done. Um, but it's only going to fire one, and so it's not going to fire a lot. Uh, let's actually set up like a, uh, a dartboard to aim for, oops, aim for right here um, for when it does fire. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I'm assuming... The person who asked for this meant it as, uh, you know, a trap. So uh, I'm going to go with uh, a tripwire. Um, this is the main source, just a second. Uh, time set day. Dang it. Set time day. Time set day. There we go. That's how you do it. Anyway, um, I'm going to assume that you want to be done with the tripwire. If not, um, I'm going to explain some other stuff with it. Okay, so I'll go back here, actually, because um, this is where the magic happens. Uh, you have to be able to activate a, um, you know, the dispenser. Uh, that's something else that you don't get to see. Um, anyway, you have to be able to activate the dispenser um, without... But, but, you know, like, activate and deactivate, activate, deactivate, really fast. So what you do is you put three redstone torches, you know, like, right around there. Um, and then you just put three blocks, and this is an easy way. You hear that? It works. Um, and I'll explain later how that happens. But um, you have no way of controlling it at that point. Uh, so what you can do is, um, when you do this... If you then go, you know, around to the front, and you set up a lever, connected to it, you turn off the lever, this stops. Now, the red zone keeps flashing, but the, the dispenser gets turned off. And then, when you either dis uh, destroy the lever or turn it back on, it'll work again. Um, so it's like, well, if I'm making a trap, I don't want to have to use a lever the whole time. Well, that's where the tripwire hook can come in handy, hoops. Um... I always mess up when I try and use it. There we go. So, I activated that, right? That's going to send a redstone charge through. So that anytime I walk through it, just in case you're unfamiliar, you know, it, it sends a charge. Um, so what we can do is, oops, uh, send that charge along. And then try and, is this going to make it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, no. There we go. Uh, send that along. Because we want, we want the dispenser to be constantly activated. That way when we do this, it doesn't go off until this deactivates. Which can be done by then making, you know, that uh, tripwire hook go all the way down here. And then when I walk through it, oh look at that. It works. Or, you know, I walk all the way through it, it's still going to fire a couple. You know, like, um, here we go. Stick some arrows in it. Oh, look at that, it just, it just shot a bunch of arrows at me. Um, so that that is one way to do it, but now let's get rid of this because it's annoying again. Let's assume you don't want to use a tripwire because you don't think the time it takes to walk through there. Oops. <laughs> um, you don't think it fires enough arrows. So let's go with the idea of, okay, let's set up a bunch of pressure plates. Um, let's just put pressure plates on the floor here. I've actually uh, ahead of time prepared this. Um, I set this up down here because if you, I'll show you over here. Um, 
if you've got redstone, and I'll pull it off to the side, and then you've got like a pressure plate, which the stone pressure plates are what um, you know allow you uh, only a person can activate them instead of an item. Well, when you stand on it, it activates this block, which can then give redstone energy down here. So that's the principle behind what I'm doing down here. Is if you were to step on any of those pressure plates, it would activate at least you know one of those. Um, and the reason I was secretive about this earlier was just because that's all this is, is um, that coming and connecting all the way over here. And I've had to put in a repeater because, you know, extending the redstone circuit, it, it was more than 15. So I uh, got to go up and then just build a staircase all the way up. And, I mean, this can be on either side. I'm just doing it on this side because we've already got that torch over there. But... Um, to do effectively the exact same thing you did over there, but on this side. And now, so nothing's happening. I'm gonna close this back up, and I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna go walk down this little path. Boom. And pelted with arrows. Um, so that's the basics of making a dispenser fire rapidly. Um, you can use this in any form with any kind of activation the essentials are just that you have uh, you know take away all of this and the essentials are just that you have those three torches in that position and you put a piece of redstone in the middle and you need blocks to cover them and actually I'll um, explain how that works right now um, by going beneath uh, those are going to run out eventually. Yep, yeah, uh, the arrows are going to stop eventually. But, um, yep, it's empty now. But um, what happens is all the redstone torches activate this area. And so the redstone effectively becomes overcharged. And now normally if you were in a circuit and it become, became overcharged, um, it would burn out. Because it had like too many power sources. Um, I don't exactly know why. But for some reason, adding in the third uh, torch allows those two sides to, like, regulate back and forth. Which, it doesn't pause and stop. It's just uh, incredibly fast and incredibly efficient. Uh, you're going to run out of arrows fast, I promise you that. But, um, yeah, so those, uh, as long as you have some way of activating the dispenser and you do that, it'll work uh, in any way possible. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much or more than the other one. Keep suggesting ideas because that's where I get my ideas for the videos. I couldn't you know, make a new one, I guess. Um, I'll, I'll try and come up with some ideas in the coming days, but um, leave comments for anything you're confused about, want to learn, uh, any cool little tricks you want me to do. I'm considering showing you guys how to do a mod drop spawner. Um, that might come soon. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.